Hey, what's up folks, this is GK. So what I'm going to do in this video is, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me some tough DevOps interview questions. And we'll try to answer those questions. Full disclaimer, I haven't prepared any answers. I'm just trying to record this as I, as I have seen the questions here. So if you have any better answers or if you want to you know, give better answers to the community, please do uh, share it in the comment section at the below. Now the questions that were given by ChatGPT itself aren't that bad. They are more about to test your experience around tools. And there is a question on the security as well. So it's a well-rounded set of questions that I got from uh, ChatGPT. Now let's go through questions and then uh, let's try to answer them. Now, I'll also give you tips in each question. That way you can ask ChatGPT to create more uh, question interview questions using these questions itself. Like, for example, let's say the question was around uh, IAC. Now we can ask ChatGPT more about the Terraform and uh, try to get more questions about Terraform. So that way it will be a more helpful and then you'll get a data set of very good DevOps interview questions that you can save somewhere and then prepare. All right, so now let's go to the questions. The first question is, what is your experience with infrastructure as a code and what tools have you used to implement it? The way you should answer this question is, give your experience how you have used Terraform in your previous project or in your previous POC if you do not have prior DevOps experience and then talk about how you have used Terraform to automate cloud infrastructure or create the CI CD pipeline using Terraform or continuous deployment pipeline using Terraform. If you do not have any Terraform experience, you can also talk about other tools like AWS CDK or, or Crossplane or any such tools. But this is to test your knowledge on your experience using infrastructure as a code. Uh, but don't go into the definition of infrastructure as a code itself. Get to the point directly and then you can let the interviewer ask the follow-up questions on the Terraform, Terraform state files, and all those things. And if you haven't had much of experience with Terraform, what you can do is you can ask ChatGPT again, give me some tough five Terraform interview questions. So the next question is, how would you handle a scenario where an application is performing poorly in production? So this is one of the most important DevOps questions that's been asked consistently for the last couple of years. So I've got this question in 2015, 16, when I started into DevOps or 2013, 14. And even now, when I took the DevOps Pro exam, I got this question. So this is to test your understanding of one, whether you have a real experience and second, whether you have experience handling in production applications. If you have prior experience in system administration or production support, I'm sure you must have done these things more often, handling when a production application went down or um, handling if there are any JVM related issues with application, memory related issues or CPU related issues. So these are common things in uh, system administration. But now let's say that you have no prior DevOps experience and you have been working on POCs and other things. So what you could do is you can again ask ChatGPT common application failures in production. So what are the common application failures in production? It might give you about the microservices failures um, and uh, some other related production application issues. So you can use that information and uh, try to answer or try to implement it in a POC and try to solve it. Common thing that is happening these days is when application is deployed to a Kubernetes cluster, you know, the pods getting restarted or uh, the pods auto scaling is not happening or, you know, the pods issues or the container issues are the most common issues. So the follow-up question that you can ask ChatGPT is common Kubernetes production issues or common pod errors that you see in production with respect to Kubernetes application, something around this. And you can, you'll get a very good set of questions uh, that you can prepare for these interview questions. And the next question is, what is your experience with containerization and how have you used it to deploy applications? First, you have to talk about how you have uh, containerized an application and then talk about how you have deployed that application to a GKE Kubernetes cluster or EKS or any other Kubernetes cluster, OpenShift or anything. And then talk about the CICD approach that you have taken, containerizing or deploying the containers like uh, deploying to GCR or uh, image repositories and all those things. So there are, it's a loaded question. You can talk for a long time, but be short, be crisp and give your spot, your important experience that you want, that you would like to share. And the follow-up questions would be around what are the, some common issues that you have faced when you were trying to contain as application or uh, how would you 
create a smaller container or what is like how would you build a docker file use multi stage docker files and these are the follow up questions after this question again use chat gpt as much as possible to see what other questions that you can find with the docker related stuff so let's move on so can you describe your experience with continuous integration and continuous deployment how have you implemented them in your pre in your previous projects this is another most important question that's been asked one it is trying to test your knowledge or the interviewer is trying to test your knowledge about what exactly is ci cd and maybe there might be a theoretical question about uh, the definition of ci and cd itself and the difference between ci and cd and then you can talk about your experience on creating the pipelines whether you have used jenkins or github actions or gitlab ci or whatever ci tool you have used and then how you have done the cd part as well uh, whether you have used azure azure devops or whatever but uh, make sure that you put only specific tools that you have used don't put everything under the sun like for example don't put um jenkins travis ci uh, all the ci tools just put the ci tool that you have most experience while working in your previous company or if you haven't worked again uh, you have done a lot of pocs then put only that tool itself please do not put lots of tools because if the interviewer is comfortable in one of the tool which you are not comfortable with then you will be in trouble if that person would ask questions in the other tool uh, and then you it's not a good idea to drive your interviewer towards his favorite areas or her favorite areas so the next question is what is your experience with cloud platforms like aws azure or gcp smart thing about this question is that at least it had put only three important cloud service providers that are out there you can give your experience about aws azure or gcp whichever you have and then you can talk about your experience meaning your devops related experience on that platform the challenge with these questions is they're not that difficult but the follow up questions will will be difficult based on your answer to this question so you have to be very careful in answering this question as you cannot just keep talking about your aws experience and what things you have done like i have created a vm or i have created a, a bucket i have created that i have created this so you can keep going on but that's not the purpose of this one you have to give a crisp answers about how you have used aws and in a real project um and how you have used uh, terraform to deploy an application or create an infrastructure what is your infrastructure whether it is a 3 tier 4 tier or how many microservices you have and you can give answer around that part what you have done so like i've said again please pause after each question and try to visualize how you would answer this question and in any case if i haven't answered properly for some of these questions and you feel like you could have answered it better please let me know in the comment section because it might benefit others who are watching this video how do you ensure security in devops process and what tools have you used to achieve this uh, this question is getting more and more important because of the devsecops practices that are companies that companies are following these days now there is no guarantee that you have a security experience in your devops related stuff as a devops engineer but uh, what i would suggest is try to study a bit about devsecops and what are the common tools that are used like there are lots of lots of uh, very good tools that are used in devsecops like fortify and then there are uh, linters in github that lints the code there is a concept called policy as a code that will go through the policy documents and there is black duck and there are other tools like sneak uh, which is a saas based platform tool so there are lots of tools that you can go through but at least have a holistic understanding of what exactly is devsecops and uh, and how security plays an important role in devops if you do not have any experience with the tools just say that i have seen some of these tools that are that are used in devops but i do not have hands on experience using these tools so you can be very upfront and candid about it because like i've said not everybody has a direct exposure to implementing those tools in their project so can you describe your experience with monitoring and logging tools like prometheus grafana or elk Uh, if you haven't had uh, any experience then i would highly recommend looking through looking at prometheus because that's becoming quite famous these days if you had any other experience like using datadog or uh, new relic and other uh, logging platforms then feel free to mention that 
because it is like i've said not every company would use the same platform or same tool for logging and monitoring and other thing you can do is you can uh, ask chat gpt to build more questions around this topic because this topic is one of the most important topic that's commonly asked these days in the devops entry questions and let's say you do have real experience in datadog or new relic you can talk about how you have integrated uh, your container logs to show up in the in the logging platform or how you have created dashboards about the container cpu and memory or your cluster cpus and memories and your database monitoring all those things and uh, and then how did you set up alerts and synthetic alerts or synthetic tests so these are these are the things that you should be aware of now can you describe a situation where you had troubleshoot where you had to troubleshoot a complex issue in a production environment and what steps did you take this is related to one of the questions that we have seen before um and uh, what interviewer would look into here is how you would handle the situation of debugging now previously one common question that used to be asked in devops interview was how would you debug if a website is down and then uh, you cannot just just simply say that yeah website is down i will just try to hit the browser and then you know i'll try to go to the server and do all that stuff but because there are lots of things involved here in an application there is networking part there is logging part and there is your infrastructure part so you have to do a proper debugging you have to show some proper debugging skills whenever this question is asked and it, the environment becomes more complex if you have more microservices so uh, try to answer them in a proper way explaining about your debugging skills if you do not have real experience then while you are implementing a poc let's say you know you implemented a poc on deploying to kubernetes and uh, the application was not coming up what would you do to debug that and how can you prevent that issue in future so overall these were the questions that i got when i asked for tough interview questions but chat gpt in fact gave a better questions than uh, than most other websites so use these questions and and try to imagine the follow up questions by digging into each keyword of these questions like iac docker containers devsecops and all those things and then you can prepare easily 50 to 60 Uh, very good devops questions and then let me know in the comment section if you want me to build those because what i can do is i can ask keep asking i can keep asking chat gpt a follow up questions and then paste all these questions and share it in my instagram post that's all for this video thank you so much for watching this video like i've said if you know any, any other questions or if you found anything from chat if you found anything else from chat gpt please let me know in the comment section please post it in the comment section that way it will be helpful for others who are watching this video Thank you all. Take care. Bye.